Hey guys, welcome back to Graybeard Garage. This is Matt, and today we're gonna to be working on a 2001 Chevy Blazer uh, with the six cylinder. And today we're gonna to be replacing thermostat housing. Hold on one sec, I'm gonna show you what that's all about. All right guys, so right here is our thermostat housing in this 2001 Chevy Blazer. It has a crack back here and is shooting water out of it. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with a brand new one and a new thermostat. But to do that, we gotta remove some parts here out of the way that are in the way and we gotta get them out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up this eight millimeter bolt here. this going real quick. Loosen that up. And we'll go ahead and remove the air tube here, the intake. We're going to go ahead and pop this off too. Let's see what we got here. I think it just rotates up. Give me one sec here and we'll go ahead and get this thing rotated up. Alright guys. Remove the intake hose here. And now we need to remove this. This is a 10 millimeter bolt we're going to take off. Just like that, and it should roll right off. All right, now we got that out of the way. I like to go ahead and put my bolts back where they came off of so I don't lose them. All right, we got the air intake removed. Now we can get down to the hose here. Let me go ahead and bring you guys over here real quick. So here we are, and we need to get this hose right down in here removed. So we're going to go ahead and get some pliers and get that taken off, and then we'll remove the rest of the housing. All right, guys. So we've got intake off, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this clamp uh, pushed back down the hose so that we can remove this hose from our thermostat housing, and then we'll get that removed. Let me put you back on the tripod real quick. So now we're gonna go ahead and move these throttle cables out of the way. And then we'll get this hose clamp backed off. Okay, just gonna try and slide it down the hose a little bit. Make it a little easier to pop this thing off. And we're just kind of wiggling it back and forth to move it down the hose. Okay. All right, so you can see the clamp was here, and we've gone ahead and slid it back uh, on the hose back here. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the hose right from there. So you might have to wiggle the hose loose a little bit twisting it it should come right off let's go ahead and see if we can get that to come off all right there we go so we got our hose off and now we're going to go ahead and work on removing these throttle cable brackets get that out of the way and then we can get down here into the thermostat housing so i'm going to try and hold this and unbolt everything at the same time. So we'll see how we do here. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove, remove that nut. All right, let's go ahead and grab that out of the way. Put it over here. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab this nut off also. All right, so we'll get this off. Okay, let me go ahead and grab that so we don't lose it. Okay, now we've got that off. Now we can move these cables out of the way. So we'll go ahead and let's see. Oh, we've got one more bolt down there. So we'll get that out of the way also. All right. So that's out also. We'll go ahead and pull that off. All right. So let's see if we can get these off. All right, so what we've done is we pulled these brackets off and that allows us to move this out of the way. So now we've got complete access to these two bolts here. All right, so what we've done is we've removed this bracket and this bracket and we haven't disconnected anything here from our throttle body, but we're gonna just move these out of the way and then we'll be able to get down to the two bolts here and then we'll take that out, go to our auto parts store and pick up a new housing and thermostat and then we'll get that replaced okay, so the two bolts that hold the housing in are 13 millimeter and we're going to go ahead and get those off now all right there's one and this is a stud and a nut so we'll go ahead and take that out and put it over here out of our way and then let's go behind here which is this looks like the same thing a stud and a nut let me move this out of the way real quick all right so let's go ahead and let's get this one. Fantastic. All right. And just reach in there and we'll grab that. All right. We got that out. So now our thermostat housing should just go ahead and come right off. Yep. There we go. And guys, check that out. That's why we got a leak. So we'll go ahead and take that out, throw it to the side. The thermostat here, we're gonna remove that also because we got it taken apart. We may as well replace it. So we got that out as well. Now we'll just go get our new parts and we'll just assemble this thing back in the reverse order. All right, so what we've done now is cleaned off the thermostat uh, mounting bracket. And we're going to go ahead and install our new thermostat housing with gasket and the new thermostat. All right, so the thermostat uh, rubber gasket has a sleeve that this goes inside of our channel. So we'll go ahead and put the channel in right around our thermostat. All right, now that goes and sits down inside of here. Just like that and our housing will go on in just a moment. We'll give this a little shot of lubricant. Okay. All right, so we had to go get new bolts because the factory bolts had snapped when we took them out. So we went and got some grade five bolts and we're gonna replace these studs with some new bolts. All right. So we're going to take our new bolts and thread them in by hand again. Catch those first couple of threads by hand. And we put some locking washers on here as well to help retain the bolt. And again, we're going to start this one and thread it by hand at first just to catch those first couple of threads. All right, now let's figure out what's now. Okay, so now that we've run the first few threads on by hand, we're just gonna go ahead and use our impact. Just tighten these down, and then we'll torque it down the specs. All right. Okay, so torque specs uh, for the thermostat housing is 14 foot-pounds. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring that down to 14. 
It wasn't for the click. There it was. All right. 14 foot pounds of torque. All right. So now the hose clamp is back in place. Now we gotta put our throttle cable brackets back into place as well. All right, so we're gonna thread this thread this stud back in. Maybe. Actually, we need to put it in through here first. All right, and these are eight millimeter nuts. So we'll go ahead and tighten these back down. Oop, they are 10 millimeter. All right. And this is the last bracket we need to reassemble. And it goes on to three different studs. It goes here, down here, and then one in the back. come from the front. All right. We'll start these by hand to start and then we'll run them down with the impact. You can let it run. So now we will go ahead and finish tightening these down. Okay. The last part is going is going to be to put the uh, intake back together. It goes on in the reverse order that it came off. I believe that's a 13 millimeter as well. Okay. Now we reassemble our the rest of our intake. Thing just slides right back into place. Just like this. It's got these notches in here so that you know you're hitting in the right spot. So you're back in your notch. And then we'll just go ahead and tighten these hose clamps back down. They look like a 10 millimeter. And they're eight. That's how you change out. Okay guys, thanks for watching that video. That was just a real short clip on how to change out the water uh, thermostat housing and the thermostat and taking the hose off and going through the process of changing all that out. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you back here again at Greybeard's Garage. Have a good one.